word breast aware I've got to be cautious about because it is so difficult. Because the majority of women that come to you have normal breasts because they sense a lump, but they are not clear what a lump means. And in principle, what I do is I'll draw a picture. In fact, I'll show you a picture now. I'll draw a picture online. I'm going to draw a picture of a cross section through the breast. So you've got, you put, a, put an ultrasound on the breast. The first thing you have is skin, right? So skin is going to look like a white line. Then you have fatty tissue, which is dark. So you're going to have fat is liquid under the skin. Okay. Then you're going to have ductal tissue, which is going to be a white component under the skin. So that is going to be the ductal firm tissue, which is the white component on the mammogram. And what I'm doing is I'm feeling from the skin onto the surface of normal breast duct tissue. So that is actually what normal tissue does. It undulates under the skin. And this is how I explain it to women every single day. Now, that that we're feeling under the skin, I'm feeling through fat, which is going to be black, is not a lump. And most women are feeling a ridge of normal tissue, which follows a ductal pattern, like the spokes of a bicycle wheel. So if you think the ducts in the breast are segmental, they're like the spokes of a bicycle wheel. So what does a lump? A lump, and I draw this picture for women on a daily basis, has to have a border. And when I feel something like that, I've then got to say to myself, it's discreet, it feels firm. I mean, if I've got a fatty lump, it's going to feel lobulated, soft, because fat's liquid. And that particular lump, if it is black, that means it contains fluid on ultrasound, and that's a cyst. And if it is white on ultrasound, that's a solid lump, and we biopsy it. So the concept in your head of what you're doing when you place your hand onto the breast is, can I say that what I'm feeling has a border and therefore I'm feeling a lump. The, the tips of the normal firm tissue is simply the surface of anatomical tissue. And there's no way anatomical tissue is going to follow a, you know, a straight line. It's not going to feel like a glass surface. And if folks just explained it like that, women would be a lot clearer, I think, in their perception of what they're feeling. So what, what doing that, doing that, when I get women in the clinic to do that, basically, I'm moving the skin. Okay, if you take, if you've got skin, okay, you've got skin, and you've got fat, what happens over fat? Fat is, is it, it's mobile, the skin is mobile over fat. So if I've got a cancer, let's say I've got, I'll draw out a cancer, which will be white. Okay, I've made it dark, but a cancer will have, will be firm. It will have a border, but it doesn't feel like a marble. Now that cancer is producing a fibrotic reaction. So what happens, it encroaches on connective tissue ligaments now I'm moving my skin. What happens is part of that skin is going to be tethered. And I'm exaggerating the movement of my skin by doing that. And of course, all I'm doing is putting that skin on tension. And I'm exaggerating the fact that those ligaments that go, those connective tissue ligaments that go all the way up to the skin have been captured by the cancer's fibrotic reaction. And so that's what produces the skin indentation. Let's take a rare presentation that I don't want, once again, women can misinterpret. So it's rare to get an inflammatory breast cancer. It's under 4%. And an inflammatory breast cancer is really poorly understood. And that's when you have a presentation, and I've had two women 
in the last six months, where the presentation is that of a redness of most of the skin of the breast. And that redness is accompanied by almost a pitting of the skin. For example, if, if you block the lymphatic drainage of the skin, you produce something called lymphedema. Should I spell it for you? No, that's fine. <laughs> so lymphedema just looks like the peel of an orange, like an orange peel, where skin follicles are exaggerated because there is water logging in the skin. And so lymphedema suggests there is cancer, there are cancer cells within the dermis of the skin. So if you take the skin, the epidermis is the most outer layer. The strong component of the skin that you place sutures into is called the dermis, and it's the lymphatics in the dermis that are obstructed by cancer cells. Okay? And that is a very rare presentation. Now, women will come to me with a little bit of a redness of the breast with completely normal skin. That is not inflammatory breast cancer. But clearly, if someone's worried, they've got to, they've got to get that clinical opinion because we can't take chances 